race goes to Germany's Kurt Derker, driving the silver dart for Team Doppelsee. No, Sean. I forbid it. Did you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see you to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart will be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. How oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Dirker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in. It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Don't get too close. We don't want to spook him. And back a bit, but don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. Don't let him get too far ahead! Oh, my sister drives better than this. Step on it! Thank you. Yeah. Looks like he's headed out of town. There's only one place he could be going. A double C motor works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Doppelzig has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. On the left, we don't want him to see us. Out of Jules. Fancy a little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Oh, fuck! 
You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff? You can do the honors. I prefer to watch. on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang-up. Send the bill to me ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Hold on, Jules. Stay with me. Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir! I'm here, Jules. To God's sake! Jules. Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. Sure. Or you may refuse. Are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! Go 
was a prisoner. The interrogation will continue when I return. Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard. Sneaky stuff, anyway. Der Tugendaufmarsch ist fast beendet. Ich brauche eine Zigarette. Ja, ich auch. Ich habe keine mehr. Dann hol welche. Jetzt. Oder du kannst eine Vokalatrin in Dienst haben.
This is madness. All these soldiers can't be after me. Something's going down. Something big. You Italian pig! I didn't tell you to get up. She through that door. <laughs> Hurry. Wiedersehen, Fräulein. Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where is Jules? No! Get away from me! This is your fault! You took him to that place! Jules! We can't stay here. More Germans will come looking for these. Where will we go? West. It's our only chance. Right. To Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go.
Véronique Oh, my child, merci Dieu We heard on the radio. The fighting at the border, we were so worried. I see you brought guests. These are Jules' friends, Jean et Vittore. They need a place to stay for a while, some place discreet. Well, but uh, where is Jules? Did he not come with you? Mama. Uh, something terrible has happened. <sighs> Madame Rousseau. No. No, this can't be happening. Your son. He was like a brother to me. No, 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 mon petit fils! No! Young man. I must know. My son. Did he... was it quick? Aye. Quick and painless. Bastard to kill him won't be so lucky. I took this from the farm. He would want you to have it. Bonjour, Sean. Bonjour, chérie. Top of the morning, ladies. Over here! John, I believe you owe me a drink. But of course, my friend. So, did you see that explosion? Magnifique. Have you ever seen anything burn like it? Just once, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> well, we are just getting started, my friend. You have a talent for destruction, John. I believe we may have found your true calling. John! Oh, please excuse me, Monsieur Godin. I did not know you were acquainted. We've just met. It is an honor to meet you, monsieur. Please, call me Luke. Yes, I have read all your books. I don't think you're here to discuss literature. Have you heard about the explosion at the fuel depot? Aye, nasty bit of business. Somebody must have got careless with a cigarette. The Nazis are in a fury. They've been arresting suspected rebels. Sean, they took Vittore. Where? La Villette. The old slaughterhouse. The prisoners are going to be shot. We must do something. <sighs> there is no turning back now. In for a penny, in for a fucking pound. No, 
the other girls. <laughs> 